All right, thanks for the latest. Well, 26,000 people are expected to race for the cure today, turning Crown Center into a sea of pink. Beth Vaughn live with the details this morning on the massive fight against breast cancer. Good morning, Beth. Yeah, good morning, Naja. You know, it's, it's lucky for me because I actually really do like the color pink, and here it is just pink abound. You can check out behind me, the uh, 5K walk is just wrapping up, and the folks that are in the bright pink shirts, those are the breast cancer survivors. So today is really celebrating their fight and also those we've lost to the disease. But at 7.15 this morning, we were told by organizers that they've already raised $1 million, and they've registered 26,000 people. So so it's a huge gathering here. And since 1992, they've actually raised $7 million for breast cancer support, education, screening, and treatment. This, of course, goes along with the events that happened all over the country for the Komen Race for the Cure. We did meet up with one family, Team Tam Tam. 60 different members came out to support a woman who they lost at the age of 36. Listen to one of her sisters. She waited too long uh, going through a divorce, didn't have health care, and thought, I'm, I can't do it. So um, when she did go, then it was, it was too late, but she fought a good long battle, six years. And then after that, my mother was diagnosed with stage one breast cancer. That's right. That family has two different breast cancer connections, so they walk and run in this every year now to make sure that folks know to get screened early and that education is the first step to empowerment. And we are told that $1 million has been raised, but the goal was $1.3, and they are well on their way to reaching that goal. For now, we're live. Beth Vaughn, NBC Action News.